Here's a story about a lovely family whose little cousin showed up just in time to see everything fall apart. During the fifth and final season of The Brady Bunch, Sherwood Schwartz and his team of producers attempted to breathe a little new life into the series by introducing a new character. Actor Robbie Rist was cast to play Cousin Oliver. While he only ever appeared in six episodes, his brief stint on the series was quite memorable. Unfortunately, memorable in this case wasn't a very positive thing. To put it lightly, Cousin Oliver wasn't seen as a very welcome addition to the cast. Fans of the series almost universally loathed the character as soon as he made his appearance. And while Cousin Oliver wasn't responsible for the show's cancellation, he certainly didn't help things. After The Brady Bunch wrapped up in 1974, Riss kept his acting career going, appearing in live-action shows like Big John, Little John, The Mary Tyler Moore Show, and Whiz Kids. He's still active today, most recently appearing in the 2013 intentionally campy horror film Sharknado, playing Robbie the Bus Driver. In this video, we'll take an in-depth look at the life and career of an actor whose career started in infamy. Robbie Rist's Early Years Born on April 4, 1964 in La Mirada, California, Robbie Rist dipped his toes in the murky waters of entertainment at a young age. When he was a small child, he was obsessed with the monster flicks of the 1930s. At some point, he expressed interest in being in a monster movie. His parents took him to his first audition to see if acting was something he would actually be into. To their surprise, Rist landed the Brady Bunch gig at the age of nine. Speaking to the Huffington Post in 2016, Rist explained that he was able to avoid some of the common pitfalls that all too often plague child actors. Knowing his parents would have punished him severely if he got caught up in things like drugs and alcohol, Rist steered clear of these vices and kept on the straight and narrow. He even joked if he'd gone down that route, his parents would have killed him and made another kid who looked just like him. He added he was far too much of a people pleaser to risk doing anything that would lead to anyone telling him he was no longer hireable. He loved acting and didn't want anything to come between him and his work. After his short run on The Brady Bunch, playing what may be very well the most hated character in sitcom history, Rist went on to appear in various shows like Chips, The Mickey Mouse Club, and The Love Boat. He was never a bad actor. It wasn't his talent or lack thereof that made Cousin Oliver a target of Brady fans' ire. It all boiled down to how his character was written and his addition to the cast's perceived pointlessness. Even though it's been nearly half a century since the Brady Bunch cast worked together, Rist says he still keeps in touch with many former co-stars. He's evidently especially close to Susan Olsen, who played Cindy. Rist told the Huffington Post that since he and Susan were pretty close in age, they hit it off. He added that his younger self thought of her as being super cool. Before we tell you more about Rist, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. The Brady Cast Member Who Despised Rist while most of the cast and crew of The Brady Bunch enjoyed Robbie Rist's presence on set, there was one actor who wasn't very fond of the child actor. Rist explained that Barry Williams, who played Greg Brady, was always super angry with him and frequently called him obnoxious. That being said, Rist doesn't deny he probably was a bit vexatious. After all, he was a high-energy, prepubescent boy. Rist couldn't have joined the cast at a worse time. By the time he was brought on as Little Cousin Oliver, the network had pretty much already made their decision to pull the plug on the series. Even though the show today is viewed as one of the most quintessential and groundbreaking American sitcoms, it didn't perform that well in ratings during its initial run. After airing for five years, Sherwood Schwartz said their contracts had ended, and that meant they had to basically renegotiate new ones for everyone involved to keep the series going. Since it had been experiencing declining ratings, ABC seemed to be fine with throwing in the towel. Cousin Oliver was basically thrown into the mix as a last-ditch effort to give the Brady Bunch's ratings a boost. Since this plan seemed to fail miserably, the term Cousin Oliver Syndrome has since been coined and used to refer to a cute child actor added to a show to try to save it from the acts of network cancellation. Another excellent example of the Cousin Oliver Syndrome trope on network television was the addition of the character Olivia Kendall on The Cosby Show, who was cast at the start of the sixth season. While fans of the show found her character unnecessary and forced, the role did help launch the career of actress raven Simone. While audiences were less than thrilled by Robbie Rist's presence on the Brady set, Rist said he had a lot of fun doing the role. To him, it meant he got to go out of school whenever he was needed to come in, stand on a piece of position marker tape, and say a few lines that would every now and again make people laugh. It was great fun to nine-year-old Robbie. Rist's relationship with Susan Olsen started on a sour note. Rist was nine and Olsen was twelve, and evidently Susan treated him pretty poorly when he first arrived on set. Rist claimed she even hit him on the chin with the seat of a seesaw on one occasion. 
Fortunately, in time, Olsen warmed up to Rist, and today he considers her a close friend. The thing they ultimately bonded over was music. Olsen played the guitar, and Rist plays all sorts of musical instruments. So whenever they got the opportunity, Robbie and Susan would sing and create music together. Rist said Olsen even introduced him to what would become one of his favorite musical groups, Queen. For some time, the gossip rags speculated that they were romantically involved, but Robbie has emphatically denied these claims. Rist did, however, eventually find love in the Tulsa, Oklahoma-born artist and life coach Allie Riesling, to whom he got engaged in November of 2018. The two have yet to tie the knot, but live together happily in L.A. Rist's Musical Career Since Rist has a profound love for music in addition to acting and voice work, he's also worked as a musician and producer. He's played guitar, bass, and drums, and has been lead singer in several L.A.-based bands, including Wonder Boy, Cockeyed Ghost, the Andersons, Nice Guy Eddie, Steve Barden, and The Oblivion Chick. He's had the opportunity to perform with hundreds of West Coast pop and indie bands over the years and continues to split his time between music and film production. Rist has additionally produced several records for groups and artists like Backline, Susie and Los Cuatro, Jeff Caudill, and The Mockers. He's currently the drummer for the rock outfit Your Favorite Trainwreck. He teamed up with director Anthony C. Ferrante to provide music for the 2013 film Sharknado, which he also appeared in. He wrote six songs for the soundtrack. He and Ferrante joined forces again to provide tunes for the sequel, Sharknado 2, the second one. And he provided the track Crash for the Sharknado 3 soundtrack. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you remember when Cousin Oliver came on to the Brady Bunch? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.